How is the Four Corners farm different from the other farm layouts? What are its perks and drawbacks? And most importantly, is it the best map layout in Stardew Valley? Because if you are going to choose a map and you are going to spend many hours playing on it, you want to make sure it's a good one. And if you have seen my previous video where I talk about all the layouts, then you know that I think that the Four Corners farm is one of the best maps, if not the best map. It was added in Stardew Valley 1.4 update and it is designed for multiplayer, but you can of course use it in single player too. This map is divided into four parts, so in multiplayer you can each choose a quarter for yourself, in single player I use this feature to divide my farm by function. I use two of the tiles for farming, one for animals and one for trees. Basically, the way this farm was created was that the creator, Concerned Ape, took uh, the perks from all the other farms, made a smaller version of them and combined them all together. It has a single large stump that produces hardwood instead of the multiple ones on the forest farm. It has a fish pond that produces more trash than on the riverland farm, but you can also catch fish in it. It has a quarry smaller than the one on the hilltop farm. And it has large rectangular areas for farming, but not as large as the standard farm. So is it the best farm layout? Well, as always, it depends on what you want in your game. This is a well-rounded layout that gives you a little bit of everything. I really like it, because I like all aspects of the game. I think it's a good choice for new players, because you can experience everything that the other maps have to offer, and later on when you start a new map, you can choose the one with the perk that you like the most. And if you are playing multiplayer, and you each want to have your own little space, this layout is literally made for you. However, I wouldn't say that you should always choose this map. For example, when I was newish to the game, I found it very difficult to find hardwood. If that is also a big problem for you, then the forest farm can be a better choice for you. Or if you don't like going to the mines, Hilltop can help you out with that. The other thing to consider is Asterix. Personally, as I play the game more and more, I care more and more about what my farm looks like. I want it to look nice and cool, and I want to share pictures of it on Reddit. Link in the description. I was also reading other people's opinions on Reddit, and some of those people found this and some of the other farm layouts boring, and they found the more interestingly shaped maps like Riverland or Hilltop nicer. Ultimately, what the best map is for you really depends on your playstyle. For example, in the previous video I talked about how the Wilderness Farm is not very challenging and overall kinda boring. But right after publishing it, I have seen Wikadi Chikadi's Let's Play, where she talked about how she really likes the Wilderness Farm and the, the challenge it provides. I will also link to her video in the description. Because the point is that different people find different things interesting, and that matters in a sandbox game like Stardew Valley especially. But I personally really do like this map, because it gives you the most perks, and that's what I care about. Which one is your favorite map? Share it in the comments. And see you next time.